Hello everybody. Hope you are doing well. This is us driving from basically Toronto to Montreal. Montreal, Quebec. Quebec, La. Montreal. We drove through lots and lots and lots of nothing. Guess what? We still have lots of nothing to go through, but at least we have a little bit of inhabitation now. But uh, yeah, so long story short, this is what a lot of Canada looks like, the Trans-Canada Highway. Just giant, straight highways with greenery and or a seven hour trip. So, seven hours. Let's continue on. When it comes to my favorite foods, undoubtedly they are animals. But one of my favorite animals served a particular way is fried chicken. I love fried chicken. So today we're in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We're going to a place called Olivia's Poulet Authentic or Olivia's Authentic Chicken, which is a fried chicken place. They have a couple locations in and around the Montreal and surrounding area, which I've actually been there before. I did a challenge there mm, almost like two years ago, long time. But today they have an even bigger challenge, a crazier challenge. This is the world's biggest fried chicken challenge. This is called the Olivia's Grand Prix. The huge, like, like the race, the Grand Prix that's offered in Montreal each year, which is a huge kind of NASCAR event. Here we have the equivalence of a monumental NASCAR event. This is a 40 piece, yes, 40 piece. Crazy, just think about 40, four, zero, 40, 40 piece chicken challenge so it has 24 of their white like tender slash breast pieces and then 16 of their dark which are boned in the white are the bone less um, we do have 60 minutes to complete the challenge or to get the 120 ish dollar meal for free um, so a lot of chicken so much chicken what i love about this place this is seriously some of the best fried chicken i had maybe ever I remember being like when I was here a couple years ago, it was so crispy, so juicy. Um, the like, I'll get you all the details, um, but let's just say I remember being really good. I hope it is this time also. So with that, that's pretty much it. Um, we are heading to the downtown location and that's about most of the info. So like we said, lots of fried chicken. I do love me some fried chicken. So let's head on over, have some fun, eat some food. And I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, I think there's a couple sides. And that's about it. So with that, let's go eat some crazy world's biggest fried chicken challenge. Voila, let us go. Hi everyone, so here we are with the platter of fried chicken. It's absolutely massive. So not only do we have 24 pieces of white meat, I have 16 pieces of dark meat. So a total of 40 pieces, which is absolutely insane. This is definitely the biggest, world's biggest fried chicken challenge. And it is absolutely like, Look at this, guys. This is crazy. crazy, a pile of chicken. I also then have a poutine. This is a very, very, if you're not familiar, French, Canadian, Montreal famous thing, which is essentially fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Very, very well known in Canada, Montreal, etc. Then I have, I had to pick two of the sides. I went with uh, both coleslaw, so two little coleslaws, but I also had the variety of like potato salad, macaroni salad, etc. Um, I have a whole bunch of their sauce up here, like their Louisiana, their uh, barbecue, the uh, honey mustard. I have their sweet chili. Um, and then I even have, look at this guys, I asked for a thing of ketchup. Look at this pile of ketchup they gave me. Woo wee, they knew I like ketchup. Oh, and I also have, it doesn't fit on the plate, but a, uh, a, so, a soy one here, which is pretty cool. So, um, like we said, a lot of food, about a $120 meal. We are trying to get it for free again, so 60 minutes. And I think I also got a hat if I win, which is pretty cool. So, that's pretty much about that. I'm gonna start here just momentarily. I'm pumped. It's a lot of food, 
But uh, I do like some fried chicken. And uh, I gotta say, they really do it right here. Both in like the scientific, you know, making the sauces like prevent heartburn and then the way they make these all crispy and battery. Woo wee. Anyway, um, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get eat. Also, thanks everybody who came out to watch. Appreciate all you guys. And did that. The Grand Prix guys, so let's do this thing. And uh, this is crazy. It's actually Grand Prix weekend in Montreal. They're partying and lots of music and stuff going on. So we're partying also with a huge pile of fried chicken. So I'm ready to rock and roll. We're gonna get started. Let's grab a piece of this lovely looking chicken. What do you say, maybe we get started at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Oh man, God, so crispy. Mm. Mm. Woo. Crispy, crunchy. Mm. Oh man. Juicy. And what's awesome Man, it's a great crunch. But these are like real chicken breasts. It's not just like some fake thing. Like what you see is what you get, real quality food. And what I did forget though is I forgot to set an example for the kids. You're supposed to eat your vegetables first, everybody. So let's dive into that. It's a nice coleslaw. It's very like um, a little more oily, acidic, not really creamy. Hey everyone, welcome to Zuru. Today we are here at Olivia's Poulet Authentique or Olivia's Fried Chicken or Authentic Chicken here to do the Grand Prix Challenge, this giant chicken challenge. We have a lot of chicken, so let's start getting through some of this. So this is seriously the world's biggest fried chicken challenge. I have never seen one bigger. I don't think there is one bigger. This is seriously them going all out. 40 pieces of fried chicken, just think about that. Most people get like 12 pieces and that's like feeds probably a family of like four or five. Here we have 40 pieces. Seriously, we had so many breast tenders. We had so many of their delicious bone in pieces. I was here before, so I knew that they had great quality chicken, and seriously, some of the crispiest, crunchiest, just like most amazing chicken that I had ever had, I had ever experienced, and I was so excited to be back. Man, the crispiness on this chicken is freaking awesome. Mm. I'll try some of the sauces. Louisiana. Oh man. Chicken and hot sauce is I think literally the key to my heart. Oh man. And this is very creamy Louisiana. I make all their sauces here. Hot damn that's good. Mm. Oh man. Mm. I'll try some ketchup and hot sauce. Oh my god, yeah, wow. I could drink that, that's the best combo ever. Try this barbecue. So the owners of Olivia's is actually a chemist, so he fortified the sauces, like specially made them to ensure he wouldn't get heartburn. I don't even think it's possible to get heartburn with this chicken anyway. The amazing thing is it's just like, it is so crispy, it is so crunchy, and it is just not oily at all. It doesn't seem heavy, even though you're eating fried chicken, like a fried food item, it just sits so light, it's so refreshing, and as weird as that sounds, it's just crispy, crunchy, and so, ugh, it's, it's hard to explain. Honey mustard?
That honey mustard is absolutely delicious as well. Super creamy. But yes, I literally described fried chicken as refreshing, which is kind of the opposite. Usually you think it'd be like heavy, etc. This is just crispy, crunchy, delicious chicken. Got their uh, little sweet, sweet and sour one here. Mm. Oh wow. Ginger. Very nice. Garlic soy, sweet sticky. Mm. They have a number of different locations around and what really impresses me every time I've been here is just the quality of ingredients. And I've watched them. I've watched them make this, you know, a handful of times. It is just absolutely good quality chicken with simple ingredients in the batter and but it's just the process the exact spices the exact you know step by step that they're doing which really makes this stand out really makes it signature and like i said they just got it going on uh, that goes for both the white meat um, again, I really haven't, well, in this video, tried the dark meat. Hopefully, I'll get to it, but I did try the dark meat before, and in my prior experience, it was just absolutely exquisite. Um, this was the one of the downtown, or the downtown location, uh, so it was really, really cool. Definitely a pretty busy happening spot, um, right by one of the universities, but again, there was a whole bunch of locations around, so definitely worth checking on by. And then in addition to like the standard fried chicken like this, and of course, their poutines, um, and or their you know sides like their coleslaw their potato salad etc which i had some coleslaws um, they also do have like chicken sandwiches and even some items like a chicken pizza coming up which while i've never actually tried the sandwiches i'm sure it's also great the fact this is still crispy and it took a while for me to set up man this is so crispy it's so crunchy mm. this freaking hot sauce mm. my god so good. Literally. Mm. Best combination. This is like the best freaking fried chicken I had in a long time. Mm. I love this. I love flavors. But overall, I believe that's the majority of the information. Again, we are trying to get that free meal, but let's just say with armed with a large variety of delicious, delicious sauces. I love their Louisiana there. They had so many cool ones with the ginger, the sweet and sour. Um, the little barbecue was good as well. I was just ready to go full on into this chicken. A lot of chicken though. I think we're about seven minutes in, seven and a bit. But it's definitely called the Grand Prix for a reason. We're going to need a lot of time. This is going to be definitely a long event, a long race, if you even want to call it that, um, to even attempt to get all this chicken done. So to eat the most fried chicken I ever have in one sitting, to eat the world's biggest fried chicken challenge, let us see what we can do. Got some reinforcements here. I told you I'd drink it. Oh, man. So with that, I'll let you turn on in. Let me know in a comment down below if you prefer white meat or dark meat. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. So we have some of the white left. Huge 16 freaking giant pieces of dark meat. I'll try one of these right now. This one of these legs. Mm. Oh, yeah. Steam them. Nice and crispy. A lot of chicken. A lot of chicken. We're about 11 and a half minutes in. Thoroughly enjoyed it. This is a lot of food, everybody. Whew. This is like, not even just a family pack. This is like I'm feeding an army pack right here.
Excuse me. Comments to the chef? Last but not least, I think this is the last white meat first piece. So delicious. Alright. Now, we have 15 pieces. Giant freaking pieces. A fried chicken left. Woo! That is no short, as that is for sure. 15. And then a poutine, a little bit of coleslaw. We better get trucking on this. But it is definitely nice and juicy. Nice crisp and batter on that. I mean, they are using fresh chicken. Which, the flavor on it. Try one of these thighs, big crispy thigh. Mm. Oh my god. Chocolate crispy and crunchy. Woo! Hot damn! Mm. That is insane. That is one of the craziest, crunchiest freaking piece of chicken I had in I don't know how long. My gosh. That's not just a 4D crunch. That's a 5D crunch. Got people 20 feet away from me here in that. I mean, the white meat is good, but holy crap, this dark meat, guys. I am talking about juicy. Sixteen minutes in. Ugh. Busting out the Coke Zero. Thank you. These things are getting real. I'm also gonna shut up and eat. These things are massive. So big. Crunchiest fried chicken ever. And I love it. And look at those juices in there. Woo -wee. Every time. Oh my gosh. Mm. So juicy. And it kept really like warm. I'm so impressed. I'm honestly at a loss for words. Seriously, a war for the crispiest fried chicken ever is going to Olivia's. And it is freaking awesome. Mm. Man, I am so impressed. I think they have like eight locations, maybe even more around the city. Amazing. Really a uh, Montreal gem. And it's still nice and warm, which is amazing. Warm food is so much better. But it's just so crispy. Can't believe that. Delicious.
We are roughly coming on about 23 minutes in. Woo, man, that is so much chicken. We got six left, thank you, thank you. Six left, plus the coleslaw, the poutine. Uh, that being said, I, I got a power up there. Thoroughly impressed. Oh, just a lot of food, but it's so good. I am very, 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 very excited to be here. Like, just, yeah, like, this is the Grand Prix weekend. It's busy. <sighs> Excuse me, comments of the chef. Sorry, everybody who's like, what the heck just happened? I do have some manners sometimes, just not at the moment. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. I don't really know what else to say besides just, wow, that's it. So, I'm gonna shut up and eat, see if we can get this done. And, uh, oh man, no shortage of fried chicken, but. I love fried chicken. About just over 26 minutes. Wow. I mean, I don't think anybody ever really thought eating 40 pieces of chicken was a good tea idea, but that being said, 40 pieces, whew. Ooh, wait, look at that, that is still steaming. Amazing. Ah oh, damn, this sub holds its health so well. Duh. That's about as much French as I know, but Montreal is very French. Great history, great culture. Very friendly people, so thank you guys. Appreciate the hospitality. I got my blood sugars rising, got the meat sweats kicking in. Woo! No shortage, guys, but one piece left. Ugh. Poutine and coleslaw. I gotta say, though, this is just, I still can't believe how freaking crazy this chicken is. Man, they don't do it well. But yeah, you don't need to eat 13 pounds of chicken. Just come get yourself a couple pieces. Two, three, maybe one. One, these are big enough, I'd say, to satiate the average person. Oh, that's an air in me. Ooh, woo. Last of chicken. Oh, thank you. About uh, 22, 30, or 32, 30, I think. Whew, man. Chicken and chill. All right, chicken is officially done so. About 33 minutes, 40 seconds. Oh. Delicious. But you don't need to eat 40 pieces. Try this poutine. So it's uh, very, 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 very. Very.
famous Canadian, French Canadian, Montreal Canadian dish. Fries, gravy, cheese curds. I gotta say the rosemary or whatever's in that gravy. Pretty good flavor. Woo! Let me know if you've ever had a poutine in a comment down below. Some people love it, some people don't love it. Fries, gravy, and cheese screws. And it's spelled P O U T I N E, not P O O. Oh, shout out their boxes, look at them. Colorful, cute these boxes are. Woo. Coleslaw, 36 minutes in. Thirty-seven minutes, forty seconds, something like that. Woo! Where do I start? I'm just gonna start with like, holy crap, crispiest chicken ever. What I can't believe is how crispy and crunchy that chicken was, but yet the batter and the crunch and everything just seems so light. Like, I don't even know how to comprehend it. It's like normally when I think about like some chicken, some brands that like have a lot of batter on them, really crispy. It's just so much oil and so heavy. This sits surprisingly light. And that's coming from a guy that just ate 40 freaking pieces of it. Crazy impressive. They got that batter down. They got the techniques down, the flavors down. Just love all their sauces. Oh, that is so much food though. So much food. Like I said, you don't need to eat 40 pieces. But come on by and I'd recommend getting like, you know, a normal size portion. So for that, we do get the about $120 meal for free. It's cool. For that, buddy, Olivia's Poulet Authentic, or Olivia's Authentic Chicken. Hot damn. But like I said, this was awesome. Loved it. Thanks everybody who came out to watch again. Appreciate all you guys. And uh, for that, everyone, Montreal, you've been a blast. They have great fried chicken. Who would've known? I mean, Montreal's known for bagels, poutine. Add fried chicken to that list as well. So with that, everyone, until next time, of course, they're happy, they're hungry, happy eating. Don't do what I do. And that, have a vre. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe. Click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.